All right, we're right back at it with Mike Check and the Kanye West drama. Kim Kardashian, Pete Davidson involved. All this drama is still active. Uh, Nick Cannon, uh, who's Kanye's friend, uh, chimed in. He said he has no problem with what Kanye is doing. And to quote, go get your girl. Ooh, all right, this has been going on for a while, ever since they announced uh, their divorce. It was separating. Kanye's moved on, dated other people. Kim, obviously, is with uh, Pete Davidson right now, and it's a lot of drama. So, Jay, let me start off with you, because this is kind of... At first it was funny, and now it's kind of gotten weird and dangerous. But as a, as a black man, if this is your boy, are you getting involved in saying something to him, or are you saying, you know what, that's that man's business, let me stay out of it? Yeah, my as his boy, man, I have to get involved because from the perspective, from a psychological uh, point of view, man, this is the representation of a very unstable person uh and mentally and emotionally even when you look at the cycles of him with uh the girl julia fox right you know you got the photos of you guys mm. very intimate you guys are kissing and all these different things and then all of a sudden you flip to you send in a truck full of roses which we consider uh, to be love bombing where an individual it tries to influence someone through acts of attention and affection and these things and what happens man it is a repetitive cycle uh, can be uh, uh, it, when it looks like narcissistic abuse, it looks like impuls uh, impulsive uh, behavior, man. And there's it's, and it's so much to mm -hmm. unpack here psychologically. And then I would have to pull him to the side and say, Bro, for one, you got to put your phone down, you got to stop processing <laughs> through social media, you got to stop doing these acts, man, that really look unhealthy. Because mm -hmm. on one side, you got people who've never had this type of tension that says, Oh, I wish somebody come after me like this. But let's be, be, be honest, if this is a regular guy, this is a very dangerous, dysfunctional, unhealthy, because here's the thing, man, it's, it's stalking behavior. Like, <laughs> let's just keep it all the way above. Yeah. And it doesn't look let's do it. good from the point of view of a man who made a decision, and now, even if you wanted to retract your decision of how you feel about your family, man, do this in private, because this don't look good right now, man. Yeah. So, and I just wish somebody would yeah. really be honest with Kanye, man, and really pull him to the side and say, hey, bro, listen, you have got to take a step back and look at everything that you are, are, are doing because, again, your children are impacted by this behavior as well. And, and, and sometimes that's the problem when you have a, a high-profile celebrity. You, you may, Sometimes they have a lot of yes-men around them. I'm not saying in this case here, but somebody needs to pull him to the side. But is he going to get it, Jaha? When you talk about his behavior going back and forth, one moment he's really cold. Uh, towards Kim, the next moment he's trying to get her back with a truck full of roses. You know, why is it yeah. so hard for some people, not just men, but women, to, to let go and, and move on with somebody else? Even though he's dating other people, he can't see her with somebody else. Yeah, so that, that's what makes it complicated because we have the, the people in our world who have those really big feelings. Oftentimes there are artists among us. We love their big feelings. We love that the art that comes out of it. We love the big expressions of emotion. But then it can teeter and get into a space that gets borderline dangerous. And when you are friends or family member with somebody like this, what can you do? You know, we all probably have somebody close mm -hmm. in our life like that, where you really, I mean, this is, they're expressing themselves and their expressions are big. And for the same reasons that we love it, we also, we get nervous about it. And we don't even know the other side of the coin. We don't know Kim that way. She might actually eat this stuff up. He might be speaking her love language mm. up and down. We don't know. But at the same time, we can't ignore the fact that there are influencers in culture. And when you have societies where women are walking around nervous about losing their life because of ex-lovers, we have to be careful on how yeah. we present our big feelings because there's a bunch of other dudes who are going to make sure that their ex-girlfriend or ex-wife never sees anybody else. And that becomes violent behavior. Right. And so if we're going to protect our women, and, 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 we have to realize what kind of influence uh -huh. we have on a bigger culture. And, and I love you got to protect your women. You, you have to protect your women. E even if this is Kim's love language, Keith, they got to think about the kids in this situation. I understand they're public figures and they put a lot of stuff out there. And a lot of people thought this was for publicity. I don't know why they would do this for publicity when they get enough publicity. They're both billionaires. But you have to think about how this is not only affecting yourself, your, but your family as a whole. Affecting your family, affecting your children. It has, a, a like you pointed out, a broader impact 
on, on culture. There were people, one of the things that kind of that came out of this is that uh, Kanye doing what, he, what he's doing, uh, it might not necessarily be him that uh, produces an act of violence that goes to, to an extreme length, but it could be one of his fans. We know that there are some irrational people out there mm-hmm. following people like Kanye West and Kim Kardashian or any celebrity uh, on online. And if you if you sit those people, your Twitter following on somebody, they go after them. They drag them on Twitter. They you know they they dox people. All sorts of things like that. Uh, this kind of behavior can't be condoned and can't be to- tolerated. One of our panelists said said a second ago, "What can, when you see when you have somebody in your life who expresses himself like this, what can you do? What you can do is you can check them." What you can do is you can go to your mm-hmm. brother, you can go to your man, you can go to your uncle, you can go to your nephew and say, look, man, you got you to slow this down. This ain't cool. You can't be doing this in public or in, in private. Um, this kind of behavior is, is not okay. This kind of behavior is dangerous, and it might not necessarily be dangerous specifically, or Kanye West himself may not necessarily be a violent threat, but somebody in his following might be a violent threat to Kim Kardashian, to Pete right. Davidson, to somebody involved in the situation. This is a bad look on every single level, and it's the kind of thing that needs to stop both in public, in front of the camera, and behind closed doors. But who, yeah, who's and you're ever absolutely right when it comes to that. Mike, who's ever checked Kanye? You know, go like, ahead. those personalities. But that but, you but, just but but don't. here's the thing. So so so, so, like, so who, who on that, do it? Who can do it? On that point, somebody could be behind closed doors. Maybe not not doing it publicly, but maybe they are doing it behind closed doors. But when you have like Kanye, like Donald Trump, for example, there are plenty of his advisors that probably told him not to do certain things. But when you have that kind of personality, you're gonna do what you wanna do. But yeah, yeah somebody needs to step up and, 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 and stop it or not even be around him when it comes to that type of situation. But also let's give credit to Pete Davidson too, in a sense, because we as men, somebody is coming for our girl or coming and saying things to us, how do we respond? We come back and kind of escalate the situation because all of a sudden you're checking or you're coming after my manhood in a sense by saying you're going to beat my you know what so i guess you got to give a little credit to pete davis in this situation for not escalating the situation Absolutely. Mike, I think is that too, Mike, we got we 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 oh good go ahead part of the problem is these are folks who live who live in a different world, right? These are people who can afford 24 hour security. These are people who can afford surveillance. These are people who have social media teams around them. These are people who have they live they live in a bubble. And again, why this is dangerous is because there are people out there who are watching this play out who are actually being influenced by what these folks do in in public without mm-hmm. knowing what's going on that actually surrounds them in, in this protective bubble that we live in. None of us really knows what's happening behind the scenes with Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, Pete Davidson, anybody that you that you follow on social media or view as a celebrity. But if you try to take what you see, what little sliver of what you see about their lives and, and implement some of it in, in yours and be influenced by what, it ha- what happens in, in your life, that becomes a problem because you don't have the platform that they do. You don't have the protection that mm-hmm. they do. You yep. don't have that bubble. And that's what I mean when I say you need to check your man. It's not necessarily saying check Kanye because you don't have access to him like that and mm-hmm. you don't know who's around him. But if you have somebody in your own life, in your own house, who's exhibiting this behavior, yep. you need yep. to pull him aside and say something. Jay, I got about 30 seconds. Yeah, Go ahead, finish up for me. Keith said, well, well, just what Keith said, man, we, we have to stop celebrating this toxic love, man. Because, again, if this is a family mm-hmm. guy, we're probably telling the girl to go to the cops. Because, again, this sounds dangerous. Mm. And then look at the influence and the impact that, that it's having. And even from a media standpoint, we cannot give things like this attention. Because now this influence the culturally from these kids mm-hmm. that they feel that if I've moved on and I want control because I miss the idea of being with this person, then I'm going to do whatever I can mm-hmm. to get this person back. And this is where we are seeing these behaviors from men who can't control their emotions or who can't manage their feelings that feel that if nobody, if I can't have you, no one else can. So from a right. cultural, psychological perspective, man, we have to stop celebrating this toxicity of relationships and love that we're perpetuating through the media. Yeah, being with somebody, loving somebody doesn't mean that you own that person either. And yes, we need to basically tell our real friends what they need to hear, not necessarily what they want to hear to stop this type of behavior out there. Fellas, good conversation as always, man. Jay Barnett, Jaha Howard, Keith Reed from the Run Tell This podcast. Thank you for another edition of Mike Check. Fellas, we'll see you again next week.